What is going on, everybody? DJ Minds. Oh, baby. Carlson, Carlson, Carlson. The Casper Killer, some would say. That's what people are literally saying on Twitter. It's funny as hell. And in my comment section, and it's going to be a thousand X. Okay. All right. That's cool. Listen, I hope it does. Okay. But understand this. I'm going to give my opinion on what's going on, kind of what I think is going to happen with Carlson. We'll even mention Casper. Why not? We got all these Casper miners going. They're doing very well. But that's not why you're here, right? Let's talk about Carlson. What do I actually think is happening? Just a disclaimer. Whatever I think is happening does not mean it's actually happening that way. Nobody truly knows. But, okay, got that out the way. Listen, as someone who bought at the bottom, maybe off by like half a cent to a cent, and sold almost at the very top, I think I'm pretty decent at reading charts. Now, the actual project, I tried to interview them. They ignored me. Uh, actually, they liked one of my tweets, but... You know what? For whatever reason, they don't want to come on the show. They don't want to talk about it. That's totally fine. So as far as the project, I would have loved to know more and give you guys a better idea what the actual project is doing, what they're planning. But you know what? They ignored the invitation. Not an issue. What I think is happening at the making of this video, we're about 12 cents, uh, maybe even 13 cents, somewhere in that range. So it had to cool off, man. This thing has just been mooning. What I think is, if you are bullish on Carlson, which it's kind of hard to be just because there's not much information or anything, but if you are bullish on Carlson, I think this is a good entry point. Now, that being said, am I going to enter again? Probably not. Probably not. I bought at $0.04. Cents. It was actually like four, 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 five, something like that. And I sold at 23.8, so just shy of 24 cents. I think the high ended up being 25. And again, we're now about 50% down from that, so we're about 12 cents, maybe even 13 cents. If I were looking to swing trade this, I think this is a good play. I really do. Now, you never want to catch a falling knife, right? Please understand something. Carlson has only been out for, I don't know, a week or two. Like, it feels like it just came out, and I think it's because it actually did. But the thing is, you really need that Caspa pump because. It is a fork of Casper. Without Casper performance doing well, I mean, how is Carlson going to do extremely well? Yes, it's going to do well in the short term because it's such a small market cap. But as this thing grows, right, as these millions and millions of dollars of volume are coming in, there's only so many Timmys out there that are going to push it up, right? Now that Casper, I think, is about 12.9, maybe it's barely holding 13 cents at the making of this video. You know, Casper's kind of seeming like it's fizzing out. It's not actually fizzing out, but it's feeling like that, you know. Things are just consolidating, which I think is really good for Caspa, to be honest with you. It needed to consolidate, and it's near its all-time high for its consolidation, but you really need that next step. Now, please, this is why I'm saying, if you are bullish on Carlson and you're looking for, like, a swing trade or something, again, I really think this is a good time to swing trade. Don't catch the falling knife, right? Try your best to wait until it turns back green a little bit. I'm not saying all the way up, right? But again, understand this is extremely high risk. This isn't something you throw $10,000 at $20,000, right? This is, you know, a little small lottery play. 300 bucks, 500 bucks. I threw a thousand in. I don't recommend throwing a thousand in. That's that's a little too girthy from what most people should be doing. A couple hundred bucks or something. And if it doesn't work out, oh well. But if it does work out, whoa, you're gonna make a lot of money. So yes. What is the catalyst? What is the next catalyst? That's what you need to think about, right? You don't need to think about today, tomorrow. If you use all these emotions when you're trading or buying and selling, if you start, you know, just feeling all these, no, 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 you're, you're doing it wrong, dude. Think about what do you think is next for Carlson? Do you think there's gonna be another exchange? Okay, it just got on CoinGecko. That's awesome. Is it gonna get on CoinMarketCap? You know, you gotta think, what is the next thing? Look into it. But again, you know, I'm not really seeing anything. I couldn't even access the Discord. I can't talk to any of these members. There's really no information on the project and what they want to do. I know they, they want to be ASIC resistant CASPA. Awesome. I don't think that's working out too well from my understanding, from FPGAs and stuff. I know some people who tried to get their CASPA miners on it. Believe me, if I could get CASPA miners on that, I would. I really would. But hey, to my knowledge, the CASPA miners aren't working. But I bet you there's some private bit streams um, from FPGAs. That just means, you know, maybe a, a corporation that's privately owned or a bunch of friends or hell, it could be one person that figured it out and just doesn't want to be public about it, which is really smart. You know, you don't want to go public about something like that if, you, if you've got the uh, the golden ticket or anything. So you want to be hush hush on that if you if that was you, little guy. Or you wouldn't be a little guy. You'd be you'd be girthy. So I just want to think right now, man. I know there's so many people confused. Should I buy? Should I sell? Right. The safest play, of course, is going to be do nothing. 
you know, would I sell if I was holding? No, I would not be selling at this 12, 13 cents range. Why? Because, dude, this thing was just at 24, 25. Why would you sell for a 50% loss? Maybe it's not a loss. Maybe, maybe you've been holding for a long time. I personally think for something like this, when we're playing high stakes, this is, don't, make no mistake, guys, Carlson is extremely high risk, high reward stuff. We're not trying to take these little 12 cent gains. Not me, at least. Nothing wrong with taking profit. Nothing wrong with taking gains. I'm just saying for me, you know, it's not impressive to sell at 12, 13 cents. I would personally hold it out if you lose it. I mean, that sucks. It is what it is, though, right? Hopefully, you didn't invest a lot of money into it. But I personally think if I'm a betting man, which in this situation, I will be a betting man, I personally think it, it will recover. That's going to be relying on a couple things, you know, the price of Bitcoin and, of course, the price of Casper. We need Casper to do something if you want to see something move with this Carlson coin. But again, at 12 cents, one thing I've noticed with investing, especially if you're looking for the short term, this isn't like long term advice for the short term. When a coin has hit way up here and it comes down, you're you know, it does something to you psychologically. You're like, OK, wow, somebody just opened that door. It does something to you psychologically that, you know, it's possible. So when we're at this 12 cent range, before when it was at 12 cents, we didn't know. Is it gonna hit three cents? Is it gonna hit four cents? At least in your mind, you can say, oh, it's hit 25 cents before. Ooh, and you start to understand that, hey, this is actually possible. And it kind of changes the psychology of trading. Because again, you don't wanna think about what's happening at the moment. You wanna think about what the next step is. And now that you know that the next step is possible, it's proven that it's possible. Again, I don't know anything about the project. Couldn't tell you if the project's legit or not. It could be a complete rug, to be honest with you. But I'm just saying, you know that 25 cents is possible. I think 12 cents is a pretty decent entry, but you're gonna have to hold it for a little bit, right? You're gonna have to diamond, well, don't diamond hand, you know, be smart, be smart. I, I took out, right? I took a 500% gain, which is a you know about a 5X, it was slightly more, whatever. It doesn't really matter, right? I'm not diamond handing that. Not on something like this. That could end up being a bad choice, but I don't care, man. It, you know, if I was a 80% gain and it went up to 120, it wouldn't be wouldn't be too too sad or anything. But I did get a 5x, so for me that's good enough. But I am I have considered re-entering at this 12 cent range. Mm, I don't know, man. Maybe if it hit 10 cents, I would. But at the same time, I don't want to be too greedy, right? Like, in the grand scheme of things, I think most people who miss out. Or the people who are just waiting for this like arbitrary number. I'm looking for 10 cents. I'm looking for 11. And it doesn't end up hitting that number for you. So, you know, the thing with Carlson, I'm going to wrap it up here, dude. You're either in or you're out. That's it. If you're out, enjoy it, man. Enjoy some of these other coins like Alephium and Nexa and Radiant while the hash rates are lower. Flux, um, Dynex, whatever it is. But if you're in it, man, you need to be in it. You know what I mean? You have to have that mindset of like, I'm just gonna ride it out until it gets to wherever I would like it to get to or somewhere in that ballpark, man. Don't half-ass something like Carlson. This is a very dangerous play. You're either in it or you're out. There is no foot in, foot out, oh, I'm, oh what if, and scared. No, decide, do you wanna do this or not? Because it's, it's very speculative. Let me know what your price prediction is for Carlson. Like I said, 12, 13 cents at the moment. I personally think it will recover. When, I, I don't know, but I think, Personally, oh, I'm just gonna make up a fake number. Yeah, I think you'll hit 30, 35. Yeah, I think it'll come back, but that doesn't mean today. I think we will, you know, you would at least 2X your money. So we'll find out what happens, boys. Let me know what you think. and We'll revisit this video. I could be wrong. I don't know. Peace out, boys.